In today's video, sponsored by Lenovo Legion and Microsoft, we'll be witnessing a truly historic event. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like someone somewhere out there is actually listening to me because this thing has it all. This is the Legion 5 Pro, and it takes the latest that both AMD and Nvidia have to offer, pairs it with outstanding cooling, and get this, adds a 16 by 10, 16 inch, 165 hertz display. That ticks basically every box, except for outstanding color accuracy. Oh wait, they added that as well. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh my God, why did 16 by 10 ever go away? Like, damn, it is so much bigger. How big is this donger? No, it's 2560 by 1600. I asked for this for so long. I didn't even ask. I didn't even, I didn't even think anyone would do it. I don't think I ever asked for 2560 by 1600. So a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I was like, come on, 2560 by 1440. This is even better. This is the perfect resolution for a display of this size because if you go 4K, you're basically pushing extra pixels through your GPU, making it work harder for no apparent reason, giving you worse performance than you would otherwise have. And in some cases, worse battery life because the tighter your pixel matrix, the harder the backlight has to work. And 1080p, it's just, it's not enough. So I thought this was gonna be 1920 by 1200, 2560 by 1600, man. And of course, like most modern gaming laptops, you were looking at that gorgeous IPS goodness, which means that your viewing angles are freaking awesome. All right, all right, but let's step back a second here and have a look at the IO. So over on the left, we've got a headphone jack, USB type C, something to bear in mind guys, is because this is an AMD based machine, you do get the finest mobile CPU performance on the market with up to eight cores. This one right here has a Ryzen 7 5800H eight core, but that means no Thunderbolt. So that is a regular USB type C. We've got a large vent over here. Then on the back, more large vents, more USB. So these are USB type A and type C, ethernet, HDMI, and finally over on the right, we've got another USB type A and look at that. Got a nice little physical webcam switch. Not everyone is into the whole webcam pointed at you all the time while you're using your computer. And this is a really, really nice way to integrate it. Just being able to turn that off on a physical level with a button on the side. I'm really glad that they do include a webcam. Some of Lenovo Legion's competitors have just outright stopped including webcams on their gaming laptops, which to me is just like, come on. Sometimes even gamers need to have a quick meeting or I mean, maybe they need to stream. They forget their webcam. It's nice to have it there. On the lid, we've got our nice illuminated Legion logo. On the bottom, we've got still more venting. You know what, actually, let's talk about the cooling system before we go any further. We've got user replaceable modules for both memory slots two M.2 slots, as well as your Wi-Fi. So that's about as user upgradable as it gets for a laptop these days. We've got a 78 watt hour battery, and this is freaking sick. Look at the size of this heat pipe, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Lenovo Legion's Cold Front 3.0 cooling system. It uses a combination of big, fat radiators, software to basically make sure that the fan curve is always optimal and what they call their Lenovo Legion AI engine, which is basically a way of taking the available power coming into the machine and divvying it up according to what kind of workload you are running. So for example, if you're running a game that's not very graphically intensive, like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it might say, okay, we need to give more juice to the CPU to pump up those frame rates and a little less to the GPU. And then vice versa, if you were playing something like Cyberpunk 2077 for whatever reason. This combination of software, beefy cooling, and fan design allows Lenovo to run for, they say, 12 hours consecutively without any thermal throttling. And we actually did check that on one of their previous models, and it was honestly really impressive. What I haven't tried yet is the keyboard. It's not too loud, but good travel distance. Feels pretty tactile. Yeah, not bad, not bad actually, it feels really good. 
Got a number pad if you're into that sort of thing. Of course, that does mean that your trackpad is going to be a little bit offset, but it's got a nice big trackpad and tracks really nicely. I mean, anything feels so much better when you have that high refresh rate display. Just the whole system feels so much more responsive. Of course, the keyboard is RGB up the wazoo. And actually, could I get a mouse and play some games? Disarm bomb. All right, we're going till I get a kill, okay? We so we, we could be here a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm flashbang. Run! Ah! Oh no, I lost already! Can't blame the computer though. I'm running at anywhere from 220 to 260 frames per second here. It defaulted me to ultra, but it actually put me down at 1920 by 1200. So we're gonna crank it to 2560 by 1600 and see how our RTX 3070 handles it. Ah, we're still getting 160, 170 frames per second. I wouldn't mind a little more than that for a competitive game, but no complaints either. Wait, what the? Who's shooting me? <laughs> you got like five kills though. Against easy bots. Easy bots, yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's time to fire up Forza Horizon 4, which is of course, a Microsoft Xbox Game Pass game. So if you're into playing lots of different games and you don't necessarily have that kind of relationship commitment level that some people do, Game Pass is a fantastic way to have access to a ton of great games for what is a shockingly reasonable subscription fee. Optimizing for your PC, please wait. Your Windows 10 PC, this is sponsored by Microsoft, so I am obligated to remind you that Windows is the place to go when it comes to gaming on PC. I think you guys all know that, but if you don't, now you do. All right, I turned off dynamic optimization so we can really get a good idea of what FPS the game is running at. V-Sync off, motion blur off. Other than that, we're cranked to ultra and running at native res. Oh no, my license plate is Titanic. That's unfortunate. Man, this is such a pretty game. And we're still running it over 100 FPS. And this is without dynamic quality turned on and stuff. So this is like, Pinned to ultra. Uh, no, absolutely not. If anything, it's it's more difficult to use. It's really stupid. How's the speakers on this puppy? Whoops. Yeah, it's well balanced sound. This is a really good game for checking out a computer sound because it just sounds so good. Obviously, there's not a ton of rumble. You know, not a ton of bass, but it's a laptop. You got to be realistic. I gotta say, this is quite a package that Lenovo Legion has put together here. Whether you're a professional gamer or you're more into video editing where you will really appreciate that extra verticals for your, all, you know, all your uh, different layers on your timeline and stuff like that. This thing is the complete freaking package. So thanks again to Lenovo Legion and Microsoft for sponsoring this video. The bottom line is, if you haven't caught anything else, is that this laptop, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, comes down to precision craftsmanship and great performance at a sort of medium to premium tier price. And if you guys wanna learn more, you can check it out at the link in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to Short Circuit for more videos like this one. I can't promise we'll bring out the gold controller every time, because I really do want someone to just buy it from me. But, uh, <clears throat> We'll have lots of other good stuff.